Vamos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Mork or Mork, whatever you know me as. And welcome back to MLB 18, the show on PS4 in our Chicago White Sox franchise mode. And if you can tell, I'm getting over being sick, so if my voice sounds different, that's the reason. Anywho, last time we left at the trade deadline, we made a few very good trades. Just a little check. Shipboy Levo, 334, so not too bad. Um... And I did say I'd play a Toronto game, so let's simulate up to said Toronto game, and uh, let's see if uh, we can beat them. Alrighty, so we've sinned up to the Toronto game, and currently we're 60 and 62, which only puts us two games out of the lead, if you can believe it. Uh, the wild card is six and a half back, so yeah, fight the Indians for the uh, central title. And the starting pitcher tip for today's episode will be Jamison Tylan, one of the guys we actually traded for, so let's get it on. I just noticed a couple of things. Uh, Matt, Matty Davidson will play third base. Um, Moustakas will still play. He's the DH. Nicky Delmonico and Esvel Garcia will play because the other two guys are actually a little bit tired. So let's beat Toronto. Ladies and gentlemen, Jameis and Tylon will be our starting pitcher. Total uh, with either team, 23 starts and 6-5 and five record. Not too bad. Not too, not too great. And first up, is Cesar Hernandez. There we go. All right, let's share the first uh, batter. Okay, I gotta get used to his release. And he enters with a 13 game hitting streak. That's always yay. That's a good pitch. 78 degrees. Wind blowing in from right field. Not too bad. Ooh, beautiful curveball. Nice little play by Moncada over to our another new acquisition, Josh Bell. And then I'll just show you the Jays 39. Hernandez, Travis, Goldschmidt, well, Donaldson, Grichuk, Duval, Tulowitzki, Russell Martin, and Kevin Piller. So if anything happens between now and our first at bat, I'll let you know. All right, we did uh, excellent in the first half of the inning. So um, let's see what our orphans can do in the bottom of the first against Mr. Ryan Baruki. Baruki. 23 starts, 9-9 nine nine record, 4.68 ERA, so we'll kind of look to uh, add on to that number right there. Um, and the first band to face him is Chris Taylor, who in this series is going 0 for 8 with 3 strikeouts. He's got a 4 seam, a changeup, and a slider, so this should be really fun. First pitch is a sky well that's always a good thing and if anything happens between now and the end of the inning i'll let you know and now our first on-screen debut for mr josh bell let's see how he does good eye deep good eye good eye all right let's see how one and oh pitch um I'm gonna say fastball. Oh god, that was terrible. That was terrible. I could justify the first one as being a strike. Yikes. Oh, beautiful hit. That's a double on his on screen debut. I love it. Good job, Josh. Already a good transaction. And with that fly out, Matty Davidson actually got a run in. So after one, it's one nothing to the good guys. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Yes! Home run for Lori Garcia. I accidentally said as failed to start of the episode. I didn't. I got him confused. But that's a solo home run for Lori Garcia, and it makes it two to nothing Chicago. And with that fly out, 
it ends the second inning, but this beautiful Lurie Garcia home run makes it 2 nothing Chicago. And again, it seems normal after that flyout. We did absolutely nothing in the third, so after three, it's still 2 nothing to the good guys. Could this be? Could this be? Could this be? Yes! Solo home run for Matty Davidson! He's going off this game with an RBI in the first inning and then a solo home run now in the bottom of the fourth. It makes it 3 nothing Chicago. What a beautiful hit by Wellington Castillo and it brings home uh, Larry Garcia for a 4 nothing lead now. Alright, and at the end of the inning, we actually lead 4 nothing. So, and they already have a guy warming up in the bullpen, so that's always a good thing. And it looks like entering play today... Uh, Drew Smiley was second in ERA, so that's awesome. And then Tylon is fifth, so our guys are doing pretty well. I feel like I've repeated this the last four times, but after the flyout, at the end of the five, at the end of the fifth inning, um, still four nothing. So, and Tylon's working on a two hitter, so that's extremely awesome right now. And we've chased the starting pitcher out of the game, coming into the pitch, coming into pitch for Toronto, Joe Biagini. Uh, correct pronunciation here. Finally, something different. After a ground out, that's the end of the sixth inning, and we are still up 4 nothing. Let's go, good guys. Hello, Nikki, Nikki. Back, 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 back. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That was disappointing. But at least at the end of seven, we are still up 4 nothing. Um, I'm leaving this go, because... As you see, uh, Tylon's energy is not really good right now. Um, you know what? Just for the two innings, let's bring let's bring in Felipe Rivero. Forty-seven games. Also, another guy we uh, traded for. Zero and two record, twenty-nine saves, and two point three six ERA. That's extremely good. So let's see how he can do for the next two innings. There's the final line score for Jaden in Tylon. Seven innings pitched, three hits, no runs, no walks, eight strikeouts. Beautiful. And I noticed with this Felipe Rivero guy, his fastball can get over 100 miles an hour. And just like most of the other innings, at the end of the eighth, ends with a flyout. And we're still up 4 nothing. Alrighty, as we hit two away in the top of the ninth, Felipe Rivero, as you see this beautiful inside slider on Goldschmidt, has struck out all five batters he's faced. Now he gets to face Josh Donaldson for the last out. One and two pitch again. Over to Davidson, over to Bell, and the Chicago White Sats have won the game four to nothing. And I did see on the ticker down below that the Cleveland Indians were, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> losing eight to one. So we just gained a game. We just gained a game on them as the Ethel does a weird little dance there. That's pretty cool. What a beautiful outing by Tylon. What a beautiful outing by our offense. Felipe Rivero, without getting the legal save, just closed it down perfectly. Ah, uh, that was a perfect game. If you enjoyed the episode, thank you so much. Um, hit the like button if you obviously liked it. Um, subscribe if you're new, and uh, have a great day, guys. Everything changes.